please introduce yourselves to the class. Wow, the bear is cool. Oh, hi, my name is Chris. I like to eat food. Hi, I'm Panda, and I'm shy. Oh, you must have the butterflies. Adorable. It's all right, honey. <laughs> I like him the bestest. <laughs> all right, bears. Take a seat. Oh, Miss Evergreen, can the bear sit next to me? Oh, sure, Ronnie. Hey, thanks. Psst. Huh? What's this? I like you. Heart? <gasps> My first girlfriend. <laughs> can you pass this to your brother? <laughs> what? It's for you. Hey, ma'am. So, uh, what do we do in school? Well, the teacher asks us questions, and we answer them. All right, class. Can anyone tell me what the capital of Idaho is? Wait, I know the answer to that. Then raise your hand. Go, oh, me! Teacher! Teacher! I know the answer! Ah, uh, yes! Grizz! The answer is Boise! Correct, Grizz. You get a gold star. Neat! Hey, that was awesome. How'd you know that? Yeah, we almost died there. Well, hey, knowledge is cool, man. Props. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. Look at this one. Teacher, teacher. Thank <laughs> you. 
frame is simply a 2 by 5 rectangular grid into which circular counters are drawn to demonstrate numbers less than or equal to 10. Man, that's some straight up gobbledygook right there. I too am confused by the gooking of the gobbledy. So instead of us using numbers, we're supposed to draw circles? I thought we was doing math, not arts and crafts. Don't get hung up on the circles. They're only there to represent number values and can be whatever shape you want them to be. Oh, really? Then can we change them to your baby hands? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot change them into baby hands. But you said they could be whatever we want. And we choose the baby hands. Baby, baby hands, hands, baby hands, baby hands! Baby hands. Stop! <laughs> Give me that! Ah, uh, we're just having some fun, Robin. Common core math isn't supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be boring and educational. Now, let's forget about the 10 frame and move on. But we still haven't learned nothing, yo! That's okay, because I guarantee you'll understand this next common core lesson, which uses line segments as anchors. These anchors are simply used to break big numbers into smaller number bonds to simplify the problem. Well, that problem doesn't look simplified to me. Indeed, it looks the way more complicated. Yeah, man, you can be adding in a bunch of numbers all willy-nilly like that. No, 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 no! Listen, Titans! If you want to stop the calculator, you need to take this common core math stuff seriously. But we are taking it this seriously, Robin. Then why aren't you guys getting this? Because this math is overly complicated and way too confusing. All them parents was right. No, they're not. Six-year-olds can understand common core math. Wait a second. <laughs> That's it! What's it? You guys just need six-year-old brains! I can make that happen. Great! Azeroth Metrion Zeus! <laughs> Ooh, I can talk like the goat! The ba! The ba! Science style! What up, my students? I'm Mr. B. Welcome to science's class. Science? <laughs> You are going to teach us science? You can't even tie your shoes. That's right, because Mr. B don't got laces. <gasps> now stop disrupting my class or you get a check mark. I don't believe this. Huh? That's better. Now, what do you kitty kids want to learn about scientists today? Why are buildings so tall? How many pancakes can I eat? Ooh, why is the sky blue? Good one, Star. That's today's lesson. Oh, come on! Everybody knows the sky is blue because the sun reflects the blue ocean. Nah, son, nah. Then why don't you tell us? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you. Everybody in the magical learning van, yo! <laughs> A magic van? There's no magic in science! Hey, settle down! You want a check mark? No. Then get your butt in the magic van! <laughs> Ooh! Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, check it. Science time! So, yo. The sun's over there, and it's blowing sunlight all over the place, right? Now, that sunlight is all the colors of the rainbow. So, in a rainbow, you got blue, right? So them blues get up in here, up high around the earth ball, okay? And then, they all get friendly with the gases, and all the gases all lit up, they're all like, what up, what up, what up? And then the light that is blue, that's all. They're all like, what up, dude? How you been? And that's how, you know, that's how the, the sky's blue now. Everything. You just said, it's nonsense. No, I get it. The gas particles high up in the atmosphere reflect the blue light. Which gives the sky its blue color. That's what's up. Yo, Mr. B, how come the sky is orange or red sometimes? Bro, it's like this. Up in that rainbow, you got red and orange, right? Well, when the sun goes down, the blues are all like, later, because they ain't going to be high, up high no more, right? So then the oranges and the reds get all low, 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 and other stuff up in there and all around up in there. And they're all like, yes, 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 my dude, yes. Oh, so the particles lower in the atmosphere reflect the red and orange light. Because they travel further as the earthly sun is setting. <sighs> he is speaking gibberish. Stop interrupting my class. That's a check mark. Thank <laughs> you.